Wine is becoming more and more popular today, but let's be honest. Wine can be intimidating. And expensive. But it doesn't have to be. We're four wine enthusiasts that have found that great wine can be found at your local grocery store for $12 or less. Each week, we taste a bottle and let you know our thoughts. I'm Tabby. I'm Andrew. I'm Mary. And I'm Dez, and we are your Cheap Wine Club. Hey guys, it's Cheap Wine Club. I'm Tabby. I'm Andrew. I'm Mary. And I'm Dez. Welcome back to the Wine Club with no fees, and you don't have to do this intro. <laughs> <laughs> You guys messed that? What happened? I keep was it. eating. Keep it. Oh, no. 100% keeping that. Yes. <laughs> I, I realized I just put a cracker in my mouth as she started. Okay, I'm ready to start. <laughs> I'm not redoing it. Now I have to talk with this cracker in my mouth. Dang it. I'm the You're victim calling. of my own joke. That's all right. Not poor for us. What are we drinking today? Tabby. I don't know. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> It looks red. <laughs> it's a blend. Go ahead and read the bottle. It is a red right. blend. It is a uh, Hope's End. Hope's End red blend. From 1886. Oh, no. Yes. Never mind. The bottle, it's the vintage of 1886. <laughs> I paid $8,000 for this bottle. Um, it's a little bit out of our normal price range of 12 but Ooh. are you not drinking, Tabby? Oh, right. I sure am. <laughs> We okay. Are, a little off. are you yeah. guys ready for your trivia question? <laughs> oh my goodness! Heart. That's all I am. My... Dang it. Okay. Are you ready for your trivia question? Yes. Oregon, the state in which we live, mm. uh-huh. I'm not from here. Produces its are. its most produced <laughs> wine is reds. Oh, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Very Pinot. obvious. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a well known one. Mary knew that. <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> <laughs> What is its second most produced wine? Hmm. Whites. No, <laughs> Red's most. Red's wine Red's. second. Or white's second most. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> second most produced wine. I think I, I have an answer. I'm going to say Pinot Gris. I feel like blends. Like they do a lot of blends. Okay, just a blend in general. Yeah, like All right. a blend. Yeah. Wait, are Cab you... Sob. Are you Can't asking, stop, like, crying. the most that's grown here? Like, an actual I'm asking grape? the most grown, but I was going to let Mary grown. get away with it, so oh. way to point that out. Well, I didn't know. because I, was, I didn't know if you meant grown or if you meant actually, like, this bottled. Was no, I was, grown was what I meant. But I was that are grown. Oh, yes. Like, in land area. Uh, most produced. Like, Goodness most sakes. used. Yeah, why are you thinking about this so much? Because this is We're me. You're hard. already like right. Things. Okay, stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris is the the second most produced wine here. To me, I mean, when I read that, I was like, nah, that's that's an obvious answer. I I probably wouldn't have guessed that, but I mean, if Pinot Noir is the most prevalent, Pinot Gris is going to be the second most. Chardonnay was going to be my second guess. So um, I was going to, no, I don't even know what I would guess. I'd probably guess something more, like more low, just something more traditional and definitely... um, that's why I said cow. I think what's the region? Dang it, uh, Bordeaux. Like definitely, yeah. just because Bordeaux's are popular. Right. Yeah. Well, I think it's we are all when we go wine tasting, we are usually going east. Yeah. To the gorge yeah. in the Columbia Valley, and so we forget that the vast majority of our wine from Oregon comes from the Willamette Valley. So you're gonna get like the Pinot Noir and then Pinot Gris, mm-hmm. Chardonnay. Mm-hmm. And that That's fair. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Tainted. What is one of the most irresponsible purchases you have ever made? Ooh. Oh, it's so, I, <laughs> Mary, oh, today? Yeah, <laughs> this week, like ever. Chris is like watching this right now. He's oh, like, I have oh. Chris's most irresponsible Chris, purchase. Chris pulls out a list yes. of Mary's. Yeah, you have Chris's because it's probably one or two and you know which one is the most. With you, he's got a <laughs> list. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we, we're all adults. Oh, we have all adults, had our yeah. own money. We've all paid for our own stuff. What is something that you just, it's you bought it, and maybe you even loved it. Maybe you thought it was worth it, but as you look back as a 30-year-old. It's oh. a lot easier to think about the one your your spouse did. Mm-hmm. Can we do that one instead? <laughs> yeah. No, we cannot. <laughs> I don't know what I did irresponsibly. I know. I'll let you guys, I'll let I you guys for answer now. for each other at first. Not at first, secondly. Okay, okay. Second. The first, I want you to answer for yourselves. Okay. 
So what do you, one of your most irresponsible purchases that you've ever made? I actually got a thing. There was I've one got, time. Oh, go ahead. Like the most. I wanted some candy and I bought the king size Reese's. Oh I'm just kidding. I'm not that virtuous. Oh my god. I I believed you. If that says anything about Andrew, I 100% believed him in that. I'm trying to honestly think though. Well, Oh, no, I know. That wasn't I, I've got one. So this was not a singular purchase. This is an overtime purchase for me. But I used to work at GameStop. I was a manager at GameStop for a while. And uh, we used to sell DVDs there, used DVDs. And anytime there was a buy two, get one free sale, it was immediately on my brain that I can get a lot of DVDs for a really good price. And it was not uncommon for me to buy 10 or 15 DVDs at a time. To the point that... When I finally moved into this home, or when I when I stopped working at GameStop, over 350 DVDs. Oh my god! I I owned over time. Just wow. we have this cupboard that's probably about uh, I would guesstimate five by four, just stuffed to the gills with DVD. Because I like to keep the cases too. I'm not the kind of guy that puts them in like a CD. Not case like or anything Marie like Kondo that. Suggest? Yeah, gosh, no. Her and I will fight. Okay, oh. her and I will because <laughs> I'm the guy who appreciates the clutter, like that. Oh. Likes the likes the. It, it gives so much personality to a home. Oh. If you walk in and she's like, I prefer to keep thirty books. They're less. That's how she talks. And I, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I don't need that kind of negativity. So <laughs> no, thank you. Absolutely not. I I will defend her and say she does not say that. Uh, there's a quote on that. That's a meme right now of her going saying, I prefer to keep 30 books or less. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> she does not say that. Ever. No, so I, I I actually like the clutter and I like collecting things. And so I, I, there are DVDs that I owned. In fact, I've gotten rid of most of them recently. I had a big yard sale. There are DVDs that I owned that I never watched a single time in my wow. entire life. Just because I'd get to like 11 it. DVDs that I want, and then there's the 12th one. Like, I'm, it's buy two, get one free. And so uh, I'm, I don't know, I'll get this one. Sure. Why not? This movie's not bad. I would say as many as I've watched that I haven't seen, probably twice that amount that I've seen a single time and never put in my, uh, my wow. DVD player again. In my defense there. Waste of money. In my defense there, they average out to about $3 each with the buy two, get one free, and it's equal to renting them. So a one-time rental for 3 bucks to watch it one time. But definitely, you're judging me for a waste of money. That's literally what this episode is about. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a very judgy episode. I know, right? So was last episode. So. It was true. So I love home decor, mm. and I love shopping for clothes. If I was not a nurse, I would be a professional shopper for somebody. Like, I actually like shopping. And so, but like, none none of those things. Put your hand down. <laughs> and I just like, neither, like, <laughs> a bunch of little things, I guess, add up. But I don't know. So, okay, I think... Is that I'm a so thing? Glad, is a professional <laughs> shopper for I someone a thing? Thinking. That's yes. what I'm wondering. It is a thing. Oh, oh like you need somebody to go shopping for you? Yes. Really? I can I see like a grocery shopper it. for no, you, no, no, but like no. it's totally true. It's a thing. Can you and be a professional would... wine taster for somebody? Yeah. I okay. think that's a small yeah. Sure, yeah, they tell you what good it's wine true. is. Yeah. Hours. <laughs> oh, Andrew, why are so, you on this show? I would love to be a professional shopper for somebody. Um, but <laughs> it's okay. We still like you. And Don't Abby go. Still loves you. Don't go. I love you. <laughs> I can't but, be the only testosterone on this show. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess like whenever Chris gets so mad because like for a long time before we moved into our house, we lived in like three different rentals, and I have to decorate like mm. each rental. Mm. And some of our old decor from like our old rental doesn't exactly match into our new rental. Mm. So I would buy things that would match that rental, and Chris would get so angry. Like, Are you hang on, this again? Mm. Yeah. you would have to buy new <laughs> decor for each home. I can't. It's just like the OCD in me. The coffee like... table behind you is 10 years old. <laughs> so I do love, I don't know, maybe historic pieces. If you That's know. not a historic piece. I got it at Big Lots. Thank you. 
<laughs> but anyway, I like I have a coffee table. My coffee table was my parents' first piece of furniture. Like I like keep hold of some things, but and I try to reuse home decor as best I can, but I know you're like dying of boredom over there. <laughs> but I know some women out there will sympathize with me that you spend a lot of time in your home. You need to like what it looks like. You, you, I, I guarantee you there are a lot of women out there sharing a glass of wine with us, absolutely agreeing with mm-hmm. you, and they you are equally irresponsible. Yes. So. <laughs> So my <laughs> most irresponsible purchase was my motorcycle. Is that what you're thinking Oh, I forgot of? that you got a oh, motorcycle. That's motorcycle? right. Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that forgot. Yeah. That I was all to, because that of That was me. my vehicle. I can't even That was the only vehicle I had. I, I, I would say, I bet okay, you that okay. your viewers out there are like, Time out. Time out. Time out. Time motorcycle. So I have not known the whites for, I guess like now I've known you guys for a while, yeah. but like getting <laughs> to know de- you guys over six years. Wait, 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 wait. No, yeah. Six years. Six years, okay. Okay, okay, so it's been a while. But over time, like getting to know you two, like there's been so many things about you, Andrew, that just, I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> like, he He's used to be onion. a gymnast. I'm yeah. like, what? Oh, yeah. And then I'm like, and then I learned Hot. like he used to do horseback <laughs> riding. And I'm like, what? And then, like, he used to the motorcycle. Just, like, so many random things. <laughs> and for so long, I was like, he used to do what? <laughs> what? Andrew? And then now I'm like, oh, okay, no, that makes sense. Now, now if you like, look at his build, you can believe now. gymnast. You can <laughs> believe that a guy as, like, fancy as him was horseback riding. Motorcycle's the one that always gets me. <laughs> like, you just, like, I forgot. Like, I, I, I remember that, that when I first met you, you owned a motorcycle. We would but, ride to church in it. Well, yes. I'm going to attribute that purchase to Tabby. Oh, yeah. Is totally. my guess. Yeah. I well, pushed but, it. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you totally. are getting a motorcycle <laughs> with that yeah. tax Motorcycle return. is definitely not in my personality. But the reason it's irresponsible is because... It's dangerous. I went to buy this motorcycle... <laughs> or I went to test drive this... Ride this motorcycle. And I just gotten my motorcycle endorsement in the state of Ohio. Am I endorsement? Get is that what they're called? <laughs> Problems for saying this. Yes. Did you, like, Motorcycle endorsement? I feel like that means that you have like a sticker from like, you know, I got my BMX endorsement from Fox Racing. No, like, like if you look at the back of my license, <laughs> even now, license. it has a little motorcycle That's called an endorsement. endorsement. All right. I just call it a motorcycle Because you don't get a different license. It's just yeah. on your normal license. All right. Like you're a donor. Anyway. Okay. Your yeah. I, you are going to be I didn't a donor know it was called an endorsement. Oh, yeah. a donor requires no training, just to be clear. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, so I went to go test drive this, test ride this motorcycle. It was pretty pretty cool and I did the little drive and I was getting ready to turn around and the sun was setting and it was in the very flat area of Ohio and I thought oh look at that road just kind of winds off in the distance I'm gonna go for a little ride did you crash yeah (laughs) it was a lot more power (laughs) than the motorcycles we did our test training on why are you looking at me like that okay so anyway I apply the uh Accelerate. I'm just so happy that judgment has moved in that direction. That's I know, all I, I know. I feel really unloved right now. <laughs> anyway, and I let out the clutch, and all of a sudden, the the, motor, the bike just literally zips out from underneath me. And I'm I can see Andrew like he's standing on the road Bye. like this, and the bike just goes and, and in crashes the into the next ditch over. This is not his motorcycle. This is somebody else's. Motorcycle. This is so anyway. Somebody comes by and helps me get it out. It's <laughs> so embarrassing. They follow me back to the guy's house no. carrying the side view mirror yes. in, in their vehicle. Oh. But now it's my turn. Okay. So I'm, I am I am at the person. I'm so sorry. I'm with him, but I am waiting for him to take his test drive. So I'm with the owner of the bike. And he's drew, it's like a dirt road. So he's he drove off, was testing it. And, and we're just standing there. And all of a sudden I hear this rip. In the distance. And I thought to myself, please tell me that wasn't Andrew getting in a wreck. That was my first thought. And? He comes back. I, we can see it's a long driveway. I can see him out on the road. Very slow. <laughs> driving back down the driveway. Very slowly. There's an SUV following him. Very slowly following him all the way to us uh, he gets off the motorcycle doesn't say a word to us goes to the suv they roll down their window and the mirror comes mirror. out <laughs> i was like oh my gosh 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was, it was. So embarrassing. The, yeah, it was one of the worst moments of my life. Because I'm writing back, I'm like, what am I going to say to him? What am I going to say? You know, because his bike's all scratched up. We had planned on negotiating the price down. <laughs> <laughs> no room for that. <laughs> anyway. The guy was really cool. He, he well, sold it to me at full price. But then he fixed it up because he worked at a body shop. So he okay. fixed everything Very up, nice put the guy. mirror back on, did the whole thing. So it was... But he did say, oh, man, what did you do? Yeah, no, he said, he said, what happened? I said, it went in the ditch. <laughs> it it I was, went out in the me. Ditch. It went into the ditch. I was standing there. <laughs> I didn't go out in the I, ditch. I was, I was parked, and, like, I was, I was talking to somebody, fun. and the bike gave me the finger, and then just drove right into the ditch all by itself. Yeah. It was real. Your bike sucks. I'm not buying <laughs> I'm not it. buying. It was this mad. It was mean. <laughs> So, I don't know. That's the one I came up with. Mine was DVDs, so no, that's good. Motorcycles. Tabby. Mm, yeah, I still don't have one. I'm a pretty responsible buyer. And Andrew, what do you think? <laughs> so, with that exact phrase, I'm going to let Andrew go now. When Tabby and I were dirt poor, and I was a student, and you were, we were just going to move out across the country, Tabby bought a brand new Coupe Civic. Ah, oh, yes, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I a never pretty big purchase. I have never in my life, nor will I ever, own a new car. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Me either. Yeah, never yeah, now. No. Never. I well, won't do it now. I've learned my until lesson. Until we're millionaires. Oh, that's going to be like when we're 80. <laughs> Even then, I guess if then I, I were... Then I care about it. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, if you could buy a, it's 2019 or now, a 2019 car or... A 2018 version for half the price. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, I hear it's you. not worth it. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Totally. Yeah, that was stupid. You're right. Good. I couldn't think of anything, so thank you. Are we all saying our spouses now? <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> they can say each other. You and I stay out of this. Mostly because, Jackie, you I love you. About and you've never made an irresponsible purchase in your life. Nope, never. <laughs> okay, no. We've talked for a while now. Uh, now time to get to the important part of this. Um, uh, the uh, one more time. It is hopes and uh, dark side. No. Look at it. Okay, I'm gonna read this all to you. First of all, I just really like this bottle. Yeah. The bottle. It's all printed on the it's bottle. All the stuff. It's not a label itself. It's a Western. And it says uh, hopes and run away to the dark side to a place called Port Misery, South Australia. Anyway, it's a hopes and red blend. Oh. That's I looked up Port Misery. Port Misery? So Port Misery, I think, is also called, according to Google, Port Adelaide, I think is what it said. It's like, but at the time, according to Google, I did not check my sources, but first link I clicked on <laughs> was the port itself was very miserable. The shore was very swampy, and it was very hard to get boats in. People ended up drowning because they'd get off the boat to walk to shore and then get stuck in the mud. Oh, wow. And just Dang. very miserable place. Why did you put a port as, there? I don't, you know, they're Australians. We can't. <laughs> That's, <for> fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's true. Yeah. I'm kidding, you Aussies. They do yeah. wild I just want to hear you talk. Yeah, right. That's, please just talk. That's all. Um, so, uh, we are going to go absolutely motorcycles out of 10. That's going to be our out of 10 today. So, for your hopes and red blend, uh, what do you guys think? Just give me some thoughts on it. Um, who's going to go first? Not me. I always go first. Okay. Because you're so good at it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Here's what I'll say. Uh, I like it. Um, it is, it's dark. It's rich. Um, the tannins aren't too heavy, but there are some like mild tannins on it as well. Uh, there are some dark fruit flavors on here that I really like. I would say notes of blueberry on this. Uh, maybe even like Ooh. you ever get like those those like chocolate covered blueberries. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, give yeah. cocoa Ooh. to this, but the jamminess of a blueberry is what I'm talking about. Sure, yeah. Right. So um, definitely that in this, but. I will also say that all of those notes are pretty generically so. So it's not like a rich blueberry or even like uh, rich tannins. Like none of that stuff is blowing my mind, but all those notes are on here. I really like it. It's really, really good, uh, but it's an $11 bottle. For an $11 bottle, I'd expect a little bit more. So I'm, I'm middling on this in and of itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is very average grocery store wine. It tastes like a grocery store wine. 
Sometimes they're, the red wines, actually most of the time, I think, the red wines in grocery stores all have that similar taste. Yeah. It's tannin. Like yeah. there's just, it's whiny is what I call it, but it's just whiny. real generic tannins is what yeah, I give that, attribute that to. Yeah. Well, I actually like the nose on this. And from smelling it, I feel like, oh, this is going to taste really good. And then I drink it and I like it at first, but then after I swallow it, the aftertaste, mm. I'm just like, it's, like it makes for, it like for red wine, it's cringe. really medium, if even short bodied. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. There's not it a lot really of is. But there is like flavor. Like, I feel like there's pretty good flavor. But I don't know. I am disappointed in the price. I feel like this is like a $7 bottle or like an $8 bottle. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would not buy this wine again, knowing that it's $11. Unless it was 50% off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I'm just really disappointed in it, actually. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm a nurse. I work 12s. I just work two 12s. And at the very end, I'm like, I want to just open a bottle and just, like, take the edge off. And I would be really disappointed if I opened this bottle and tasted it at the end of a 12-hour shift. Mm. So that's kind of my rating. It's not... I, I have high hopes when I smell it and when I first taste it. And then afterwards, I'm like, it really isn't that yeah. great. So, also licorice. Thoughts. I'm going to toss that in there. Oh, yeah. Also licorice. Uh, yeah, okay. And not black licorice, red licorice. Like, See, I'm not a huge yeah. licorice fan, so maybe that's why. But I just feel like it doesn't have a whole like full body flavor. And I'm disappointed because the nose gives me high hopes. Yeah. And then I'm... It does have a great nose. I, I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I agree with pretty much all the you guys um i definitely get like dried blueberries on yeah there, like that right. sort of concentrated rich um it's a little too like because i agree it's very short um and then it finishes and the finish is not anything to marvel over at all but in the little body that it does have it's too syrupy the mouthfeel is too i don't know thick to me and it it just comes off a little cough syrup ish to me so mm-hmm. i can see and, that yeah i'm not gonna disagree and, with that and so and yeah and so to me just personal preference i you know it doesn't have enough like finesse and brightness to it it's mm. kind of just yeah it's lacking brightness and that's yeah. something that i think would help round all of this out totally. a little bit of brightness in there so so if we were to go out of 10 motorcycles and i'll, I'll be honest right now I'm the type of guy, and if you are also this, then hey, don't worry about it. I'm the type of guy that label is going to change my opinion of a wine before I even drink it. Mm-hmm. Like if it looks really cool, I want to like that one. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so this looks really cool. I really like this label, and I wanted to like it before I even drank it. Yeah. And drinking it, now I'm I'm not going to even say – yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I will say that actually. Um, I would drink it. I would if somebody gave it to me. And even if if I had extra money, I may buy it again. If I had money to burn, I may buy it again. Uh, six. Hmm. I'm going to give it a six out of ten for $11. I would give it, because I thought it was boring, average, mediocre grocery store wine, I'm going to go right in the middle at five. Five, yeah. I think because of the price that you paid for this, it makes me like really hate it even more. Mm. So I'm going to go with like a four. If it was cheap, like a six or seven dollar bottle, I'd maybe give it like a 5.5. Mary, you're like... Right on with me today. I, I agree. I, just having tasted, I feel like Malbec can actually be done really well cheaply from things we've tasted otherwise. So Did you say a Malbec? This is a blend. No. Yeah, this is the red blend. Oh. Also, and it's yeah, Malbec. Just a blend. Oh. A Malbec. Well, I know. <laughs> I'm editing all this out right now. I'm a, it's a little... Hey, well. me. Edit this out. <laughs> I never made a mistake. <laughs> um, what's in this blend? Um, Do we know? Hang on, let me take a look. Before I give a score? It says wine. (laughs) It says wine. No. uh, (laughs) Helpful. It doesn't say. Man, no, but soft, lush boysenberry marmalade and cherry jam laced with subtle new oak. Not really, no. Um, (laughs) Silky velvet smooth on the palate. I'll agree with that. Showing hints of vanilla. The terrible Chocolates. You kind of hinted at that. Yeah. The flavors linger long after the last no. sip. No. no. Man. Um, so, okay. I don't know what's in it then. 
No, it, it doesn't say. A lot of the uh, uh, naming right. your blends, like putting what you put in there, is not something you have to do by any means. Yeah. In fact, typically, if you're going to do that, uh, that means you're kind of proud of the blend and you're happy with what it came out to be. So if it, I would just guess that this is a, a widely produced wine, a mass produced wine, and they just don't have the time to put the blend on every bottle. They sure. don't care enough. That'd be my guess. Okay. So. so who knows? But I, I, I'm going to go with four as well. I just, all right, yeah. so we got from four to six. At, at the end of the day, we all agree it's a middling wine. Um, yeah, guys, go grab a bottle of Hope Send if you want to. Try it yourself. Let us know what you think. But buy it on sale. <laughs> if you can, buy it on sale. Get six at a time, and you'll get 10% off at Safeway. That's what I do. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And always remember to save time for a glass. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.